Sonoma County. Winter is here, and us Sonoma County natives sure know how lucky we are to experience such mild winters. I mean, really, <laughs> our winters are like a high of, on average, mid 50s and a low of, on yeah. average, mid 30s, and that's pretty doable if you ask me. Oh, for um, sure. <laughs> but still, there's a few things you want to do to winterize your home to make sure it is safe and running as efficient as possible. But first, I'm Morgan. I'm Julie, and we help people move in and out and all around Sonoma County each year. So if you're planning a move in the next 30, 60, 90 days, six months, reach out and we'd love to help you on your journey. So first, the interior. There's a few things you're gonna wanna do to make sure that the outdoors stay out and the indoor heat stays in. First and foremost, we always recommend checking the weather stripping on those doors that lead to exterior spaces. Um, it's totally normal that these weather strippings wear over time or dry out, or if you have kids and dogs, sometimes they get chewed up or disappear altogether. So make sure they're there and it'll definitely seal those doors from keeping the cold air out and keep your nice warm air in. Similarly, window caulking is also very important for sealing your home. Um, again, totally normal that the window caulking may dry out during the hot months and those hot summer days, and that actually creates gaps in those seals. So we recommend grabbing a tube of caulking, get those sealed. So again, you keep the outdoors cold outside and the indoors heat inside. And then even more than that, any water intrusion. You certainly do not want that winter rain coming into your home at all. Um, that can create a whole nother can of worms. Um, in addition, when you're heating your home, there's a few things you're gonna wanna do in those early winter months before you get that furnace pumping regularly. Um, first, you're wanna, gonna wanna clean and vacuum those air vents. Likely you haven't had hot air being pumped through those vents since last season, and oftentimes you have some dust and debris and things like that that have fallen in there. Stick your vacuum hose down there. There's also companies that you can call out to service and, and do this for you. Um, but that way, when you have your heater air coming through, you know you're breathing very clean air. Um, before you start running your heater regularly, we always recommend um, test it. Make sure it's running, it, it's not making any funny sounds. We actually recommend to our clients to get their furnace serviced about once a year. Um, we kind of compare it to a vehicle. We rely on our vehicles to do what they're supposed to do, just like a furnace, and we still have to do oil changes and filter changes and so on. Um, so do that with your furnace, get it serviced, make sure it's tested and running up to speed and change that filter so again, you're pumping the cleanest air possible through your home. Um, once you're sealed, you got great heater air coming through. You want to also reverse your ceiling fan. This is interesting because a lot of people don't realize that reversing your ceiling fan doesn't have as much to do with the mechanics of the fan as it does with the heating efficiency. Um, when you reverse the ceiling fan blades, it actually changes the velocity of the ceiling fan and forces that hot air that rises, we know hot air rises, the hot air that rises, it actually brings it back down to where we are sitting in the room. So again, your heater is running more efficiently, the air is being circulated back to where you're sitting so you don't have to force as much air and as much money <laughs> into your furnace functioning all season long. Um, lastly, we think this is very, very important is to check and replenish your emergency preparedness kit. I know we said we have pretty mild winters throughout Sonoma County, um, but you really wanna make sure that you have this in case something were to happen because things happen all the time. Uh, make sure you have uh, canned food, or ready-made meals, a change of clothes, toilet paper, flashlights and batteries, you know, um, maybe a first aid kit, those kinds of things. Maybe you won't need it, but you'll sure be glad you put it together if you end up having to tap into it. So with the winter months upon us, exterior maintenance is as important as interior maintenance. And we keep talking about our mild winters, but it is winter and we do get rain and some storms and some wind coming through. So trimming your trees and branches is number one. Um, take a look at those trees and a lot of times there's some dead stuff up there. Get it off. That's going to be the first stuff that comes down when a storm does come through. And look to see if those trees, branches are hanging over your house. Our home inspectors are always sticklers on this. They want all branches cut away from the house because they say that they're rodent highways. Those little critters go right up those branches onto your roof and find their way into the attic. 
Once the trees are all trimmed, gutter cleaning time. Get all the leaves and debris out of the gutter so the water flows freely and down the drain pipes. And then you can also take a look and see if any caulking is needed, if there's any holes that need to be prepared, uh, repaired. It will greatly prolong the life of your gutters as well. Turn off exterior water supplies. So you may have pulled out all the veggies out of the veggie garden, but that drip system is still running. Turn that off for the winter. And if we are getting decent rain or a fair amount of rain, maybe you can even turn off the irrigation system from the automatic system altogether and just turn it on as needed. Um, you don't need to oversaturate the ground because that can lead to drainage issues. Which then brings up when it is raining, take a look at your drainage. Look and see how that water is flowing from your yard away and hopefully away from your home if you don't want it getting underneath the house. Um, roof inspection. Great time to inspect the roof before all the rains really come. Um, if you're comfortable going up there yourself, go take a walk across the roof, see if there's any missing shingles or ones that have moved or slipped or some wear in certain areas. A lot of times the side of the house that gets all the sun may show a little more wear than the shady side of the house. The shady side of the house though can be covered in moss which should be power washed off. If you're not comfortable getting up on the roof, we have wonderful um, roofing contractors that will go up and do an inspection and we're happy to be a resource for that. Then you get to do the fun stuff because come winter means the holidays are upon us as well. So you can hang, now you can hang some holiday lights, decorate the outside of your house, maybe do a front porch makeover that you can enjoy all winter long. Sonoma County really is beautiful in the winter, just as all the other months, and there's actually a lot to enjoy, whether you're, you know, cozy at home or out and about, because we do have a lot of sunshiny winter days. Um, but either way, you want to make sure your house is well secured and running energy efficient. Subscribe, like, or click the bell to be notified when more videos arrive for everything Sonoma County, home maintenance, and real estate. Thanks for watching.